Okay, in this video I'm just going to quickly run through what video recording modes are available on the Panasonic GH6 in each card slot function. So it can be a little bit confusing when you first sort of get it because you you can drop into just say the quick uh, the quick menu and sort of have a look in here and you've got the modes down there and you can see that you've only actually really got sort of five modes available to you. Um, so you've got your um, 4K 50, 25. Um, my camera's set to PAL, so your frame rates might be slightly different. Um, and you've got your 8-bit um, 4K, and along with your sort of uh, 50 frame and 25 frame HD settings there. Um, but there obviously are more that are available, but it's a case of uh, tweaking the settings to get to it. So what we need to do is come into the camera, um, just under the camera menu, if we come into the um, recording file format, um, we just need to tweak that from MP4 because MP4 um, essentially only does a handful of the um, of the shooting modes. So we've got MP4, MOV, and ProRes. Um, we could quickly actually just look at the ProRes ones because there there aren't many there at the time of recording this. There there will be more being added um, in firmware updates. So it may be that by the time you've watched this, there are actually more in there. But if we jump into ProRes, change to that, you can see. So um, for ProRes, the um, the actual uh, well, all of them at the time of this, they can only be shot actually in um, uh, in the CF Type B. So you're only actually going to get. Um, that shot onto the bigger card the SD card can't handle the ProRes currently so that's um, 5.7 K at uh, 25 frames it's possible when the, um, the the lower resolution version sort of come into ProRes that some of them may be able to be handled on SD card but it, I suppose it really depends on um, you know what codecs come with those and how, how big they are and how demanding they are on the camera so it's um it, it's sort of realistic to just say you know anything ProRes really you're probably just going to have to rely on that one card so you can currently you can just do 25 frames a second in um, two different two different codecs so you've got HQ um, as well as standard so um, those should be filling out fairly shortly um, but what we want really to open up all the modes is jumping into the MOV format so if we hit MOV and then just say yes. And then what you'll find is if we come back into the video mode, um, I haven't really got any of this set up yet, but I've just been sort of playing around with it. We can come into there and if we turn the wheel now, you can see there are loads of the modes. So we've got um, all the way up to 5.8K at the time of recording this. And you know the list just goes on and on and on so you can set quick modes to the ones that you use the most because obviously there's lots and lots and lots of different frame rates and codecs and you're not going to want to scroll through that every time you want to do something so we can have a quick look in here now under recording quality um, and if we start at the top you'll actually be able to see uh, in the side menu here what you can actually record so uh, bearing in mind we're not in ProRes now uh, we're in MOV so um, you can see here recordable slot we've got one and two so we, we can do actually 5.8k 25 frames which is amazing on SD um, we've got all of those all the way down to here so the C4k at um, 50p it's um, it, that's only available on card slot one so you can see that there um, it's possible that again these uh, when the firmware update comes for the external HD or external SSD through USB-C on the side um, it's possible that we'll kind of get two recording slots there for them through that and then obviously through the CF Express um, but you can see it sort of you know some of the modes are limited I mean especially ProRes at the moment that's you know that is just solely that um, you can see there again it's mostly these really high um, uh, high codecs like um, the all eye codecs they, they tend to not be available on the SD card so and I mean they're the ones they were really pushing the GH5 with so uh, again you know all eye there for um, that's 200 frames there so 
um, without without VFR, that's just uh, 200 frames a second. So they're pretty chunky file sizes. Um, and you can see there's a couple here where it actually says about um, the VFR is available, um, but not on card slot two. So again, um, you can shoot in this mode, but when you want those higher frame rates, um, you're going to be relying on your um, CF Express Type B card. So um, you're going to want quite a big card in there if you're looking to shoot in those frame rates. Um, but you can just scroll through this and it will give you, you know, a good indication of what's available where. But you actually technically, um, in this um, MOV uh, format, you can technically really shoot anything um, up to a point. There, there aren't that many um, video modes that have actually been excluded from it. But, you know, once um, ProRes starts to support more resolutions and, um, you know, it hopefully will very shortly... Um, you'll start to find that the SD card actually is probably going to become a little bit more redundant but it's just something to bear in mind and like I say hopefully they'll patch that with the um, SSD capabilities so hopefully you found that useful and um, if you want to find out more about the GH6 um, you know leave a comment or you know subscribe to the channel